Any tips for dealing with separation anxiety? I would take them. Any tips. Okay, girl, we're talking motherhood because that's what we do. Yes. Are there any products you couldn't live without when your kids were in the infant stage? Balmex. That's what you can't live without. Tell me what Balmex is. It's for diaper rash. Mm -hmm. And it, the smell of it, I love, and it's a perfect product. If you witness a kid on the playground doing something they shouldn't be doing, do you speak up? It would depend on what they're doing, but I would imagine that I would say something. Just to say, oh, but that's maybe not the coolest thing you could be doing right now. And then trip them. What do you find to be the most effective way to make a child understand that he or she has crossed the line and there needs to be consequences? Well, you have to use your very stern parenting voice. But once the emotion of whatever the thing is kind of quiets down, just to have a really conscious conversation about whatever the grievance was. Do you have any tips for increasing family bonding time at the dinner table? I think just everybody sit down to the dinner table. It's really part of the tapestry of what we all expect from each other. It's really meaningful and that is the time that we have had some incredible conversations and so I mean I usually you know have breakfast and dinner with my kids every day. I think it really punctuates you know starting things together and sort of processing and winding it down together. What do you think is the right age to get a cell phone for your children? Well, I have to say 12 because Hazel got a cell phone for her 12th birthday. We were on the fence, my husband and I, but ultimately her reasons for wanting a cell phone were so honest and clear. I mean, it wasn't even like a PowerPoint, which she has pulled on us before. It was just complete vulnerable honesty about her needs and I was too in love with her in that moment. I was just like, we've got to get her a cell phone now. <laughs>